thank you for Professor Fan's introduction. And uh, I'm Yuan Hongnan from Beihang University. And it's really a, uh, my honor to present our work, Dynamic Graph Information Bottleneck here in the web conference 2024. So uh, now we can scan the two QR codes to get access to our paper and codes. So first, uh, as is known to all, the graphs, or we say the networks, are everywhere in the real world, real world scenarios. And additionally, the static graph will evolve in terms of the you node know, features and graph structures, etc. And we call that type of graph the dynamic graph. For example, the traffic uh, network describes the traffic flows of the urban transport network at different times of the day. So although the time dimension brings more interactive patterns and features into the graph, it also brings some thorny problems, such as the reduced generalization performance or the robustness of the GN model. So more specifically, the powerful GNs are susceptible to potential adversarial attacks. So let's see the examples of the node classification task. We only need to perform some small perturbations on the features or the structures of the attack nodes that can lead to misclassifications. And taking back to the dynamic graph within our scope, as a spatial temporal correlations in the dynamic graph is more complex and coupled, the dynamic genes will be more sensitive to random noise and potential targeted adversarial attacks. So our question is, what is a good, represent, good, good representation for graphs? The past work answers this question in the perspective of the information bottleneck theory, which can be categorized into the three types in terms of whether the graph structures would directly involve in the uh, representation optimization process, that is the vanilla information bottleneck, the non-structure involved graph information bottleneck, and the structure directly involved in the graph information bottleneck. So analysis of the existing work indicates that GNs are highly sensitive to counter attacks because information that is not relevant to the task objective is encoded into the latent representation. So therefore, using the uh, information bottleneck as the optimization goal to constrain the learning behavior of GNs can make the neural graph representation contain the minimal and sufficient information, which can lead to a good prediction. So let's push the key question a further step. What is a good graph representation of a dynamic graph? To test whether the uh, uh, mentioned minimal sufficient representation on the static scenario is also a good representation in a dynamic scenario, we do a case study. We directly apply the uh, GIB used for the static graph to dynamic scenarios and test the performance of the link prediction task we have a note worth finding that the prediction performance significantly surpasses that for the validation and the testing. This shows that the GIB can better capture the spatial temporal correlations between data in the training stage. However, due to the unknown, maybe the distribution shifts of the uh, validation set and test set data, the minimal and sufficient information learned by the model in the training stage changes. So resulting in a rapid decline in accuracy of the downstream prediction task. So therefore, in this work, we answer that key question uh, that a good graph, the good dynamic graph representation should meet the minimal sufficient plus uh, consensus conditions. However, how to implement the MSA condition is an unknown challenge in the field of dynamic graph representation learning. So we face three main challenges. The first is how to understand what constitutes to the optimal representation that is both discriminative and robust. The second is how to appropriately compress the input dynamic graph data with the graph structures straightforwardly involved. And the third is how to optimize the intractable IB objectives uh, to make it calculable on the non-Euclidean dynamic graph data. So considering the most challenging task on the graph learning, we first give the formal assumption of the MSA condition on the future link prediction task. The assumption one declares that the optimal representation for the robust link prediction task should be uh, minimal, sufficient, and consensual. 
Among them, the minimal and sufficient concepts have been clearly understood in the previous works. So how to understand the consensual? We think that consensual maybe behaves like a button in the process of the feature compression and guiding the optimization of, of the information bottleneck in each time slices from a global perspective. Spe specifically here, we illustrate the DGIB principle and the formal definition of the opt optimization goal. It describes the dynamic graph information bottleneck instantiated by two terms. The first term is the conversion term, which aims to maximize the user information between the latent representation Z and the label. And the second term is called the compression term, which aims to minimize the mutual information between the input and between the uh, latent representation. So, so the overall uh, goal of DJIB is to find a good dynamic graph information, good representation Z that satisfies the MSA condition as well as lead to good prediction performance. So as the most common, but also the most challenging problem in the uh, GIB, that is how to implement the DGIB objective as the two mutual information terms are not directly tractable. So we propose a novel solution to decompose the overall DGIB objective into two channels. That is the DGIB MS channel and DGIB C channel. Uh, uh, here we should notice that when decomposing the overall training target into separate ones, we should also guarantee the parameter searching space is also being decomposed. And the DJIB framework iteratively uh, compresses structures and no features between the graph slice. And the overall the uh, loss function is decomposed into the DJIB MS and DJIB C channels, which act jointly to meet the MS condition we proposed. So we can now give a formal definition of the optimization goal of the DJIB MS. So in order to maximize the mutual information of the first term, we can give a definite expression for the lower bound of the mutual information and indirectly maximize the first term itself by maximizing the determining the lower bound. And similarly, in order to minimize the mutual information of the second term, we can give an upper bound for the mutual information of the term, which indirectly minimizes the second itself by minimizing the determining the upper bound. So what follows is a, some detailed and in-depth mathematical deri derivations showing how we can shrink and transform the upper and the lower bounds into expressions and we can uh, directly compute and optimize. For example, for the lower bound of the mutual information, as the training progresses, the first half of the uh, expression will converge to some constraint so it can be ignored. and. Uh, the rest part, it turns out, converges to the cross entropy. So the upper bound of the mutual information can be calculated by a means of distributed sampling and variational approximation according to the different methods of the uh, dis uh, distribution sampling methods, two different uh, approximation methods can be used here, namely the Bernoulli distribution sampling and the categorical distribution sampling. Similarly, we define the optimization goals for the DJIB C channel, and also similar to the DJIB MS, uh, we can do some approximation to make the two uh, bound calculable in the optimization process. So, in summary, the optimization goal for the DJIB MSC channel was to find uh, a minimal and sufficient intermediate variable. While the optimization goal for the DJIB C channel was to encourage some semantic consistency between the intermediate variable in each time slice and the final representation. The two objectives are merged into the overall optimization objective through the trade off by the hyperparameters. And the dy dynamic graph representation finally meet the MSA condition and uh, it was optimized under the joint efforts of the two channels, thus achieving better prediction performance on the downstream task. And this is overall training pipeline of the DJIB framework. We have analyzed the computational complexity and spatial complexity uh, in depth and detail, which can be specifically reviewed in the corresponding chapters of the paper. So analysis concluded that the computational complexity and spatial complexity is on par with the state of the art dynamic genes. And next I will introduce uh, experimental settings. And in order to comprehensively evaluate the effectiveness of the proposed method, we use three real world dynamic graph datasets to evaluate on a challenging future link prediction task. We compare our DJIB with three group of 
groups of baselines, that is the static genes, dynamic genes, and the robust genes, and these regular rises. And we compi- compare baselines in the proposed uh, DGIB on the two adversarial attack settings, that is uh, non-targeted and the targeted adversarial settings. So first, we evaluate the model performance against the non-targeted uh, adversarial uh, attacks in terms of the uh, attacks on the graph structure and no features. So specifically, we train our baselines uh, and our DJIB on the clean data sets, after which we perturb some edges and features respectively on the testing split for in the experimental settings. We can find that our DJIB burn and DJIB can outperform the most uh, powerful GIB and other baselines in most of the scenarios. And second, we continue to compare the proposed DJIB uh, against uh, the targeted adversarial attacks. Uh, we generate uh, the targeted datasets with the NetTag, which is a very prevailing attacking platform. And um, uh, we can concerning different perturbation times and in both the evasion attacking mode and the poisoning attacking mode, the higher end means a heavier attacking degree. So we can find that also the DJIB burn and DJIB cat outperforms or baselines under different settings. In ablation study, we analyze the effectiveness of the three variants. From the results, we can see that the overall DJIB com- uh, outperforms the other three variants and except for the DJIB uh, without A, where it exceeded the original DJIB burn on the clean collab by about 1.1%, we claim this phenomenon is within our expectation. As the structure sampling term, the A contributes to raising the robustness by refining structures and compression feature information, which will surely damage its performance on the clean datasets. So concretely, we witnessed DJIB surpassing all the three variants when confronting invasion and poisoning adversarial attacks, which provides insights into the effectiveness of the proposed components and demonstrate their importance in achieving better performance for robust representation learning. Next, we carried out the information plane analysis. So information plan is widely applied to analyze the changes in the mutual information between the input, latent representations, and output during the training. So given the Markov chain X to Y to Z, the latent, the latent representation is uni, uniquely mapped into a point in the information plan with the coordinates uh, I, X, Z, and I, Y, Z. So theoretically, the optimization process of the information bottleneck should show a significant two-stage features if the expected two-stage feature appears in the experimental phenomenon. And it shows that the information bottleneck is useful to guide the model training and uh, uh, feature compression process, and indicating that a optim- the op- optimate estimation method of the mutual information is correct. So we analyze the DJIB burn on a clean collab dataset and draw the coordinates. From the results, we can see that uh, it's very f- verified that our proposed DJIB is a information bottleneck uh, optimization process, which matches the expected results very uh, nicely. And we next we perform some hyperparameter analysis, and due to the time limits, we uh, the detailed uh, if, uh, details of this chapter. You can refer to the papers for more uh, information. And last, we draw some conclusions of this work. And we propose a novel DJIB framework for robust dynamic graph representation learning, and which is the first exploration to ex- extend IB on the dynamic graphs where the structures is directly involved in the optimization. And we investigate a new insight and propose the MSA condition, and which can be satisfied by the cooperation of the both DJIB MS channel and DJIB C channel and extensive experiments on both real-world real world and synthetic data sets demonstrate the superior robustness of our proposed model. And thanks for your listening. Any questions?